What's up guys, welcome back for your final episode of the Aston Villa career mode. What a journey it's been. We have won the Carabao Cup twice, we have won the Champions League and in the last episode we were crowned the Premier League champions. In this one we have the opportunity to wrap it all up and win every single trophy throughout the course of the career mode and actually win the treble domestically this year by winning the FA Cup. So it'd be the Carabao, the Prem and the FA Cup if we can beat Arsenal, the FA Cup specialists in the final game of the series. However, we have the small task first of away game against Barcelona at the new Camp. We're 3-0 down on aggregate. They've scored three away goals. We've had tough ask before against Lyon, but to beat Barcelona by a similar amount is even tougher, if you ask me. Messi, Pogba, Fatty, etc. If we do it, we could be in for a chance of a quadruple. That would be insane. We'll sim the three Premier League games, Newcastle, Leicester and Burnley. I'll let you know the results and I'll show you the goal scorers as well. But we're focusing on today is the Champions League semi-finals, potentially a final as well if we can somehow bring back the biggest comeback we've ever had. And then the FA Cup final. Let's get into it. Barcelona at the noon camp. OK, guys, this is the team we're going for. You can see it's a 3-2-4-1 You've got Watkins up front, left forward and right forward, Dakar and Grealish, left mid and, well, it's going to be more of a wing back, the RB and Rossi up and down those wings, McGinn, Wendell in midfield, Bossett, Hernandez, Tadebo and Cash in the right centre back with Martinez in goal. Thankfully, Everton is back from injury. He's on the bench today. He could be well worth a punt if it's not going our way. This is the team and the formation to see what it brings us. There we go. Here it is. The new camp. We arrive at the stadium of FC Barcelona. 3-0 down on aggregate. We can do this. I have faith in this team. Why not? Let's give it a go. Whatever we've got. Whatever the result. I love this team. And it's going to do me proud. Here we go. Aston Villa, Barcelona. McGinn. It's a Dakar. I love Dakar because he just takes the attention off Watkins. Oh, my God. Greedish. This could be the perfect start. Surely not. Surely not. Oh, my God. Get the ball and get it back to the centre circle. It's 1-0. I can't believe that. I did not expect that. I'm in shock. Greedish, what a finish, son. Okay, six minutes in. That's one away goal. It's 3-1. Dion. Back to Fatty. Oh, he's driven to unreal. Griezmann, uh-oh. Frankie Dion. One each. They're unreal. They are absolutely unreal, their players. It's one each. It's 4-1 on aggregate. 15 minutes into the second leg that may just confirm Barcelona's presence in the final and us just missing out, unfortunately. Still a lot of game to go, but my God, it's, it, the task's got even bigger, isn't it? It's just got even more impossible. We won't stop. What's the point? Greenish. Ollie Watkins. Through. Rossi's through. Finish, please. He's finished. Wow. Well, this game started with three goals in 19 minutes. 2-1. 4-2 on aggregate. We're still in it. We're still in the game because there's so much football to be played. And you know how many goals this team can score. We've seen it before. We've smashed teams. We've come back from massive, massive games. 20 minutes gone. 4-2. 2-1. Oh, goodness me. Bit of space. Grealish opens up his body. It's a save from Testegen, and he had to push that out. Oh, he's come back into the box by their own player. Bit of madness there at the Barcelona defence. Maybe a bit of pressure showing on their shoulders. Nearly at half time. Nearly at half time. Watkins, still Watkins, still Watkins. He's putting a lot of pressure on them. They've had to blast that out. And it's half time. It's going to be a ridiculously hard task now to turn this around. But we're going to give it a go still. 
Only 45 minutes left in this game. I respect the boys for what they've done so far. Let's see what they do in the second half. Oh, comes inside, Dakar. Does brilliantly well. Pats and Dakar. Going to put it across goal for Watkins. That's in. That's in. No, he's off the line. Oh, my God. Off the line. You need moments like that to go for you. When you're trying to make a comeback like what we are, you need those kind of opportunities to go in. It's so unlucky. It really is. Here we go. Everton. Slide that. Slide that all day for Ollie Watkins to chase. He loves that. He loves the chase. In towards Dakar now. Dakar. Oh, I was about to say scores. He blazes it wide. You can't miss that. Not in today's game. You can't miss that. Drink out. Comes on for Barca. We've had opportunities today as well. Now we know we're out. It had to end like that. We gave it all we had. Respect to the players for giving it all they had. Congratulations Barcelona and Tiliano Messi. Back in the Champions League final for them. Unfortunately we crash out. But we won the Prem. We won the Carabao Cup. Now can we complete a domestic treble and win the FA Cup against Arsenal? Okay guys, so rotated team out for the first simulation in the Premiership. We have rotated our team, you can see on the right hand side, Jao Pedro starts with Everton as well, Camavinga, Douglas Luiz, Barkley, Nelson, Target, Zagadu, Burge, Lamptey and Martinez in goal. Away from home against Newcastle, backup team, we've won the league, we need to rest our players' legs ready for the Arsenal game. So we're going to quick sim this one. See what the result is. We drop to a 1 0 loss in the 68th minute. Carlos Fadez scores. It doesn't impact us whatsoever, that result. Disappointing we didn't win it, but we rotated the team because we have bigger fish to fry. Okay, guys, another quick sim has been done on the Leicester City game, the match week 37. We won 2 1. Our main team was out. Rossi scored along with Chenches under for them and DRB in the 17th minute. That's how we won that game, 2-1. There you go, guys. The final game in the Premiership, game week 38. A slaughtering away from home. We win 4-1 against Burnley. Grealish, DRB, Watkins scored in that one, and DRB actually got a double. Mopayet scored for Burnley. So DRB double on game week 38 sees us through to a 4-1 win FA Cup final Wembley filled with Villa fans to say goodbye to their manager he's changed it all and he has certainly put his own footprint on this team hopefully to be remembered forever by you guys the FA Cup final against the most successful team in FA Cup history, Arsenal Football Club. They meet Aston Villa. <sighs> Hopefully today is a fond farewell. Look at that beautiful trophy. Wow. That's the trophy I want. That is my favourite trophy in the world of football. Genuinely, my favourite trophy. Probably because of the history of it for me. Aston Villa, Arsenal... Here we go. John McGinn on the ball. We're starting early doors with some attacking play. Wendell back to McGinn now. Looking for something from Grealish and Watkins. Watkins has got a little bit of room. Can he squeeze through? Squeeze through. Watkins! Of course! Nobody else but Ollie Watkins could score on my final game as head coach. Ollie Watkins... The legend. It's going to be tough to ever find on this FIFA a better striker than he is. Animal. Unreal. He probably suits my style of play better than any other striker I've ever, ever had the fortune to play with on the game. Seven minutes in, in the FA Cup final, Arsenal 0, Aston Villa 1. Lozano. Our ex-player is against us today for Arsenal in the FA Cup final. Oh, how would he love to score against us in a Cup final? McGinn, McGinn Grealish. 
into Watkins. Got more space. Shoots. Leno saves. Nearly a second. We're coaching on the sidelines as we have from day one. And we're going to do it to the final day. Big save from Leno. That could have been two. Corner ball now. Get it into the box. Grealish with a great corner up there. It's going to come back for Grealish, I think. It is. He's going to chest control that. Do you know what? We're going to strike it. Leno catches. Arsenal survive that attack. Insert intercepts. And here come Arsenal. Torreira. Ball over there. Who's that? Dembele. Isaac, I think that is in the box. Dembele now tearing down on Matty Cash. Back to Lucas Torreira. Does me there. That's Dembele now. Osman Dembele. Ball across. Lozano's there. Martinez catches into his safe pair of gloves. We get to the half-time mark. Here we go, though. Target. He's going to put one into the box. Oli Watkins is there. Oh, my goodness me. He went for the Pele. He went for the Pele. He nearly got his foot on it as well. Half-time, it reads, Aston Villa 1, Arsenal 0 in your FA Cup final. The superstar DRB cuts inside. Finds it, Wendell, back again to McGinn. Patient build-up in and around their box, Wendell, McGinn. Watkins got some room. Ollie Watkins shoots! Ollie Watkins scores! A twist, a turn, and a cheeky finesse shot. You're going to score if it's controlling Ollie Watkins. That's for certain. 2-0. And Arsenal, they see themselves falling at the hands of the mighty Aston Villa. That could be game over. I'm pretty sure it will be. I don't see us conceding two goals to Arsenal. The FA Cup, the domestic treble, could be on its way home with Aston Villa today. Douglas Luiz to Ollie Watkins, who turns, turns again, does his man, fires it just wide, could have been free, it could have been free, he's unplayable at times at Wally Watkins and that, that is so close, it's un, unreal, target, Dakar, Patson Dakar now, turns into Watkins who turns as well, bends it, what a finish, my favourite goal, the FA Cup final, a turn, a finesse shot into the post or bar and in. 3-0, glory, glory goes to the Aston Villa. Get in there. It is a sad but a happy day for me as I wave goodbye to the club. I've built up from the bottom. I've turned them into real serial winners now. What a goal that is. Wow, I've enjoyed every single minute I've played with this team. And I'm really going to miss not playing with them in the game anymore. 90th minute now. A few additional minutes to be played. Just want to take this time to say thank you, everybody who's tuned in to even just one episode, let alone every episode on this career mode. It's been quite a ride. The journey on this has really helped the channel grow. And there we go. FA Cup winners. Love to you all. Thank you. Smash the like button for your final career mode for Aston Villa. We'll be moving on after this. Love you all. Smash the like button. Talk to me in the comments, guys, what you thought of the series overall. Was it a 9 or a 10 out of 10 for you? Was it a success as much as you thought it would be? Thank you, guys. Hope you're enjoying the content. Subscribe if you haven't already for more content coming soon. The PlayStation 5 is out very soon. Been playing more career modes, one coming shortly as well. Let's enjoy this as I sign off. Enjoy this, guys. Thank you once again. Until next time, peace.